Maria Bartiromo. Looking forward to having Maria Bartiromo on. Boy, this... Maria, this whole consumer, this this battle of the wallets is getting really strange. And I don't think that these people know what they're getting into necessarily. The people at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or, for that matter, Nordstrom's when it comes to you know trying to shield or get rid of these Ivanka products. There's going to be a backlash. I can almost guarantee it. Oh, I'm pretty sure of it, Jamie. I mean, people are so sick and tired of the arrogance. The idea that you can just start boycotting, you know, a company because they are, you know, supportive of Ivanka Trump or supportive in some way of Donald Trump shows such an arrogance for the rest of the people in the country who actually voted for Donald Trump. I mean, who are you to tell anybody that, you know, the product, the company is no good because of their association with the president? It's arrogant. It's rude. And I think there will be a backlash. I totally agree with you. By the way, a word on Kevin Plank. That guy is an all-star, Jamie. He's such a good... I know him personally. Oh. He started his career uh, selling flowers. He, he started a business, and it, it was about flower delivery. I mean, he's a real entrepreneur. Then from there, he went on, started another business to finally um, build Under Armour. And he's, he's an incredible leader, uh, a great businessman, you know, and uh, obviously has courage uh, to, to speak what he feels, which is uh, something I totally was impressed with. So just just a word about him as a person. Yeah. As real integrity. That's that's very interesting. Now, uh, I, I know that you, you this the situation with Kellyanne Conway, even even her in my opinion very uh, expected defense of Ivanka Trump now has turned into some kind of ethics inquiry where I think that's a little overboard. I mean, the, the intent of the ethics laws was to, to prevent, you know, a, a White House person or somebody in the administration from directly profiting from endorsing or promoting a certain item. But this was basically, basically in the context of Ivanka's being mistreated. If you really want to fight back, stay with her. I, I don't see right. how that's an ethics violation. Right. Well, listen, I mean, that, you just laid out what the ethics committee is supposed to do. And I think, you know, she was speaking at it, uh, being a friend and working for Donald Trump. And she was speaking about, you know, Ivanka Trump as, you know, someone who knows her, someone who likes the products, and also sort of complimenting her boss, his family. You know, it, Donald Trump continues to surprise uh, people. I mean, he, he's a different president than we've ever seen partly because of his family. He's got a beautiful, big family that are very supportive and helped him on the campaign trail. And now, you know, obviously are at the ready to help him in any way. Ivanka Trump is his daughter. I mean, she doesn't have an official role in the White House, but if her father needs her, she'll be there. Like when President Trump went to honor the fallen Navy SEAL, his daughter Ivanka went with him. So, you know, I don't think... I, I had today Alan Dershowitz on, Harvard professor you know, one of the leading voices on constitutional law, also a major Democrat. And he said, you know what, this is just not that big of a deal. And, you know, you could make a lot of it and you could try to keep, you know, picking hairs about Donald Trump and what he does and, and how he, you know, acts. Uh, but the truth is, is the, the Dems are just losing themselves. They're losing themselves over Donald Trump's presidency. And they are going to nitpick and try to take him down at every turn. Jamie, I think we're going to have four years of this. And I'll tell you, I think Half of the country who did vote for Donald Trump, they are going to remember the stalling tactics that have gone on in Congress, how long it took for Donald Trump to get his nominees confirmed. You know, the truth is, is that travel ban, he had to do that all by himself. He didn't have a team. He didn't right. have Rex Tillerson, as you know, he, he didn't have a, as his uh, attorney general, uh, I'm sorry, uh, as defense. He didn't have uh, Jeff Sessions as attorney general. And so now, finally, Jeff Sessions was just confirmed recently. Tom Price was just concerned in the middle of the night last night on HHS. Yeah. So they are creating all of these stall tactics. And I think people are going to remember when their re-election comes up in 2018. Because don't forget, a lot of those, those senators who are stalling, they're coming from districts who vo voted for Donald Trump. Right. It's interesting that the the sum total of the resistance, so to speak, is not a resistance... Uh, 
regarding and involving ideas. It's a resistance of tactics. It's a, it's a boycott this, obstruct that, light that on fire. And I contrast that with the Tea Party because I wouldn't be surprised if there was some kind of organized effort. And, and I would encourage those who really care about uh, clashing with Trump over ideas to formulate what was similar to the Tea Party and develop candidates and 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 do it that way because the other way is certainly not going to help you. I mean, Chelsea Handler standing in front of the White House with a Nordstrom bag is not a movement. Yes. Oh God, it's so true, Jamie. You make such a good point. And the truth is, is at this point they don't have anything to stand on. I mean, they they just name call. You know, I mean, they're so unstable and losing themselves so much that they can't point to actual policies or, or the law. They, they can only name call, and that's what they're doing. And so, again, people are so tired of it. And at this point, you would think that people would recognize the election is over, get behind the president so America can win as a country. But that's not what you're saying. And I'm going to speak about this this Sunday. I've got John Ashcroft coming on, former attorney general, on Sunday, along with Representative uh, Jeb Hensarling uh, to talk about tax reform. And I've also got Carly Fiorina coming in on, on Sunday, on Sunday Morning Futures, and then I've got Senator Lindsey Graham uh, is going to join the show, as well as Senator Rand Paul to talk about Obamacare. So I think we're really, uh, we've got a jam-packed show to touch on all of the issues of the day. Obviously, the market's at a record high again, and you know that's because of the president's comments yesterday on tax reform. But the, this stalling tactic uh, and, and this constant you know, trying to effort to take him down uh, is something that I think all of the above, have a, have a comment on, and I want to certainly get John Ashcroft's comment, because he actually saw the politicization of the Attorney General's office and the politicization of so many government agencies. I mean, you've got the Department of Justice trying to, you know, smack down underlings that, that, that were trying to do an investigation of Hillary Clinton. You've got the IRS targeting uh, conservatives, right? You've got all these government agencies politicized, and you know what? People are sick of it. They just want them to, to, to follow the law and execute the law, and stop politicizing everything. Well, we will be watching on Sunday Morning Futures, 9 o'clock our time here, and say hi to Mr. Ashcroft. He's a former governor here and senator, and so uh, he knows who we are. So tell him hello. Drop our oh, names. All right. Maria Thank Bartiromo. You. Thanks so much. Great talking to you at Maria Bartiromo on Twitter. It's Common Sense Radio. Traffic.